Hi everybody, this is going to be a very short video. I know wind controls or wind forms is not the most popular framework, but I learned it first and I'm still faster at wind forms than anything else. I can do the same thing in wind forms in about an hour that would take me a day in ASP.NET because you don't have to worry about browsers or si screen size or any of that malarkey. Okay, and all you do is click on a, as you click on a button, notice how the buttons change and the screen changes because I have a different panel here that is really off screen and I move it whenever a tab is selected. And I'm going to show you in just a couple of minutes how to set this up if you like. The first thing you do is go to NuGet and browse for datajuggler.win.controls. The next thing you have to do is implement, well add a couple of using statements. One is for datajuggler.win.controls and the other is win.controls.interfaces right there. And then add the itabhost control parent, which is what the main form is going to be in this case. And to do that, if you don't have it implemented, you just say quick action and refactoring. There's nothing to refactor here, but if this wasn't implemented, like if I, if I take this method right here out, and then it'll see that little squiggly line shows up quick actions and refactoring and you just say implement interface. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to hit control Z so my method shows back up. And this gets you a notification if a tab button is selected. And the way I load the tab buttons is in the tab host control underscore load. And to add that you just on your form go to events and go to load and just double click right here and that'll create that method. You can also do like an init method or something else on your form. This is not part of the interface but it's very easy to set up and I'll put the link to GitHub actually has this right here. It's the same example that I just showed you. The only key thing that you have to remember is to make your buttons the right size. Set them to whatever, set your tab host control to whatever size you want for the height and then set, the, I usually dock it to top just so it sizes automatically. And then set the top margin and the left margin for before the buttons show up. And you must add your buttons in reverse order because they show up last to first. So notice I'm doing three, two, one. That's the button number. And here you set the width. And the breaking change that I added yesterday is now you can set the label color. If for some reason you want to do a different label color, I will probably one day let you pass in a different image. I haven't done that yet, but I was just trying to figure out how to use this control yesterday and I figure if I can't figure it out, no one can. So that's why I made this video. So that is my very short video. I'll just show you, uh, also it did just hit 39,000 installs almost and I've almost hit 500,000 total. I wish that paid a penny a piece. But to do that, you probably have to see like, your package will install right after this ad, and nobody wants that, so that's why it doesn't do it. And this one did hit 85,000 Blazor components, because Blazor is much more popular, because this project here is 12 years old or 13 years old now, and this one is a couple of years old, maybe three. But all right, well, that was my short video. I just wanted to show you how to use the tab a button that I made a breaking change in case anybody's been using it. I, I doubt it because I had to figure it out yesterday and I didn't have it in the documentation. But let me know what you think. Would you like me to add the ability to change the button color? Because that could probably be done pretty, or like pass on a custom image. If anybody wants it, I'll be happy to do that. It probably wouldn't take very long. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And I just wanted to show you my breaking change because I didn't, I hate to break existing uh, packages, but sometimes to improve things, you must break them. All right. Have a great evening or day or whatever time it is for you.